We're here at the Thomas M. Garrity Athletic Complex, April 17th, New Jersey City University snaps a four-game losing streak by defeating Baruch, the leaders of the CUNY Conference, by a score of 12 to 4. We're here with Pete Senezin on our left. He was two for four today with a run and three RBIs. Mike Maratucci continues to swing a hot bat, three for five, two runs scored. Pete, first of all, we'll talk to you. Since you became a regular starter, this is now your 10th consecutive game started. You've been swinging a red hot bat in that 10 game span, hottest on the team now over uh, 415 in that streak. Uh, what's really been the difference for you? Well, I knew it was going to take time just to get in, but after I got in, just settled in and just played like I could play. Just after I got in, got reps after reps, it was all right. Is it really that all it was? Because I know you had the uh, preseason injury. It took a little while for you to get healthy. Was it really just a matter of getting out there and being a regular player? Yeah, it was just getting out there. The injury, it bothered me, but after the week I sat out, it was fine coming into Florida, and it was just a matter of just seeing steady time. Meanwhile, Mike, obviously, as we said, three for five, three straight singles to start the game. That seven-run inning, you were obviously a huge part of that. How much of a confidence builder was that for you guys? Uh, that was an extreme confidence builder. You know, getting a run, getting a scoring runs early, you know, right on the top of the lead, giving our pitchers uh, confidence throughout the rest of the game. Something that obviously doesn't show up immediately in the box score stat-wise is defensively you were part of three double plays. Yep. The defense up the middle has improved. Obviously, you had a little uh, early season jitters there, but your defense has significantly improved. And just talk about the double plays, the fact that you guys are able to not only turn those, but actually turn them quickly, make them look rather routine. Well, it's all due to the coaching staff. You know, we, obviously, we weren't strong in the, the field in the beginning of the season, and all of our practices have been focusing on us up the middle, turning our double plays, and we've perfected them, really trying to. Now, you guys have a couple big games coming up here. Thursday, we have the College of New Jersey. Rowan coming in on Saturday. Obviously, you guys have your backs up against the wall. Still alive for an NJAC tournament berth. It's going to be rough, but what do you guys feel you need to do coming in against teams like TC and Jane Rowan to be successful? P, we'll start with you. Just got to take it one game at a time. Just play how we can play and win every inning, and then we'll be fine with that. Mike, what about yourself? Um, to, uh, to me, and I believe I speak for the whole team, it doesn't really matter what the name of the team is. We're just out here to play baseball and just win the game. The, the, the jersey doesn't matter. It's about the players on the field. And finally, I know, I know you guys obviously right now are below 500, but it looks like it's a more cohesive group this year. You guys look like you're starting to have fun out there, which is obviously at the end of the day what you want to do as a baseball player. You, would you guys agree with that assessment? Mike? Yeah, I agree. I believe in our family. We are having a tremendous family. You know, we're all bonding together. We're all up for each other. No one's in it for themselves. We're all training like fame. That's how baseball should, play, should be played. Pete, you agree with that? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. We were all new to each other in the beginning of the season, but now we all know each other now. Got a small team, so we're all just alike. And now, if you turn around, you got my teammates waving at us behind yeah, you. So, love. we got love. You got all the goofballs, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, settle down. Well, the goofballs they might be, but the Gothic Knights win today by a score of 12 to 4, win their 12th game in a year. Take on the College of New Jersey on Thursday.